how to solve definite integral using scilab suppose you are given an integration to evaluate integration of x square dx from 2 to 5 if you integrate it then the result will be equal to 39 but now we will see how we can evaluate this integration by using scilab to evaluate the integration you have to write the coding in the sci note function c equal to fx so you first define a function to define a function in scilab we use a keyword that is function after writing the function you have to write the output variable name here i have written the output variable name as c then you have to give a equal sign then the name of the function suppose the name of the function i have given here f and in the argument or in the input variable you write the variable x and it is given to find out the integration of x square dx so you write the output variable c that is equal to x multiplied by x then you have to give the semicolon for line break then end function end function is a required keyword which must be added to the function defined it is an inbuilt function to so to save the file with extension asterisk dot sci then you have to write i equal to intg in bracket 2 5 f here intg is the inbuilt function in scilab that is the integration function then in the bracket you have the limits here 2 and 5 are the limits from 2 to 5 you have to integrate and f is the function then display i after save after save and execute the value of the integration that is 39 it will be displayed in the answer in scilab console now we will write the coding in sci note and we will find out the value of the integration whether it will be 39 or not now we will write the coding in sci note you see i have written function a equal to fx instead of c i have written here a you may change any function any name then a equal to x asterisk x then semicolon then end function i equal to intg 2 5 f then disp i after writing this program you should go to save and execute you will see the answer in scilab console so you have to go to scilab console to see the answer so let us see let us see the scilab in scilab console the answer you will get i have get 39 you see I have got the answer 39 which I have calculated so this is your coding how to solve this